So Henry, you must have done quite a lot of work to, to understand the receptiveness of the British market to heat pumps, because it's a big change in the UK, isn't it, for us, the way that we heat our homes? It, it is. We've done um, a fair bit of uh, research um, to find out what really is the attitude uh, to heat pumps in the UK and yeah. what are the opportunities, taking into consideration also the, the fabric of the UK housing. Yeah. And from a consumer perspective, a homeowner perspective, um, there are concerns about the cost, uh, maintenance, um, and, and sort of getting used to having a different form of heating in your home compared to what you're used to. Right, you, you say different form of heating, but actually, I mean, we're talking here about the fact that in the UK, traditionally we've used things such as gas boilers to heat radiators in our homes. Correct. On a sort of on-off, high temperature basis. You, you run the fossil fuel because oil and gas like to run at high temperatures, short bursts, get the water really hot, pump it through the radiators, and then and then it switches itself off. Correct. Whereas the heat pump is, is very different. It's different. It's, it's running all the time. It's running on lower temperature. And, and you know, assuming that your whole system is adequate for that, it gives you a much better quality of warmth and a much better heating. And of course, it's sort of a lower carbon footprint. It, it's, a, it's more efficient. It is more efficient. That's remarkable. It is very efficient. And of course, you need to make sure that your home has the right insulation so you can take advantage of the efficiency that the heating is providing you. And um, what other concerns do people have, do you think, about, about, about them? You, you mentioned maintenance, but they're very straightforward machines, aren't they? They are, and I think it's a question of taking the consumers on, on the journey, getting them comfortable with a heat pump as a, as a good quality heating yeah. for the UK homes. So I think it's demonstrating it, and it's, it's, it's trying to also convey to the UK consumers some of the, the learnings that, uh, that we have from, yeah. from other European markets. And, and on the continent, of course, heat pumps are a kind of fairly standard in most European countries, particularly in the north of Europe. So, so it, it's as though we're the missing link here. We, we, we're the one country that hasn't really adopted. Why is that? Well, I don't know why it is, but what certainly is, is a fact that uh, anywhere from sort of Spain, France, all the way to the Nordic countries, heat pumps uh, is all becoming more prevalent as, as a way of heating. And part of it is, of course, a contribution to sort of a, a, a net zero future and low carbon technologies. But it really is a very, very efficient way to heat your homes. And, and I think part of the resistance or reluctance in the UK have been the expectation that with the various fabrics sort of uh, challenges in the UK that it will not be affected. You know, I believe it's a very effective way also for many, many UK homes, maybe not every home, and there will be other solutions, but for lots of homes, this will be an effective way to heat their homes. I mean, looking forward, do you expect to see the kind of changes that government are demanding in terms of the boiler upgrades over the next five to 10 years, which are, which are going to be necessary to meet the targets? Well, I think the boil upgrade scheme is a very good start. It's also been extended until 2028, so it's prolonged the opportunity for, uh, for the UK consumers to take advantage of the program. And I think that's going to be an important part um, for the government to get that right, for the consumers to then really start demanding heat pumps also in the UK, yeah. similar to what we've seen in other countries. Yeah. It seems to me it's a bit of a no-brainer. I mean, you know, the, the industry has really worked at the performance, uh, of heat pumps with better refrigerants. You've got the Arizona Plus, which is, you know, delivering really high efficiencies. Yes. Is, it, is now a good time? Should we all be waiting 10 years? I don't think that you necessarily need to wait, but you need to make a sort of a smart decision for your home. Like with the technology is there. Yeah. And as you said, we've been manufacturing heat pumps for more than 20 years. and. You know, the Aerithin Plus uh, launch uh, was, was sort of a step uh, further in the right direction. So I think the systems are getting better and better, the efficiencies are getting better and better, they run at lower and lower temperatures. And, and I think that, that all sort of makes them ready also for UK homes. Great. I should get one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>